actually. Let's make a journal entry. I'm going to call this... Hmm. Living Conditions. And we'll leave this outside of the other folders. Boom. So let's make a little table here, four rows. Let's make it five rows. And we would need one, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that the max on here? All right, let's make a table like that. That's good enough. Call this at the top character. I don't know why these rows are so far apart. And next, we're going to put a. Okay. Cost, uh, which will either be per month or per week. All right, I think I'm doing it by month. Yeah. Next, we're going to put where. Yeah, we'll just put where. That's where they're staying. And I'll make a little extra row in case I want to add to it. So, yeah, looks good. Now, oops. let me double check this. Go to the rule book under equipment. Page 294, cost of living. Cost of living. Living conditions. Yeah, living conditions. That sounds good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put every character. Uh, we'll put Davram. I'm going to put Thozar. We're going to put a uh, Lofter. Asna. Mirez. Hmm. Barley, Tell, Devar, Dreskin, That's good. I do have a few other player characters, but they're in a separate little campaign. I could expand this out later, I guess. All right, conditions. Davrim, I know, is living comfortably. There is four levels. Subsisting, comfortable, fine, and extravagant, each having a different cost associated with them. We're going to put comfortable here. Those are as likewise. I don't remember Lofter. Lofter is actually stationed. I have to think about him. He's not actually living. Mm. Yeah. I'll think about that. Asna, don't know. Ramirez. And put him as comfortable as well. Farley Tell also. Devor and Dreskin will keep blank until I talk to them. Uh, and then I'm going to put the cost associated with that level, which is four gold pieces per month, because that's how I'm keeping track of it. So what we'll do is for Davern, we'll put four GP slash MO. Now, those are a little unique. He did a little. 
diplomacy of sorts, so he's paying a little bit less. I'll make a note there, in fact. And then we've got Ramirez. And we've got Farley Tell. That's pretty much what it looks like currently. And here's a little column for where. Uh, where were they staying? Uh, crow's casks? Crow's casks? I think so. So it's those are. Ramirez and Farley Tell. Uh, where are they? They're at... Uh, different tavern. I guess I could actually pull that location in here, couldn't I? Just for fun. Should be able to. Rowdy Rockfish. Let me see if I can pull it in here. Yep. That's cool. Let's delete my text and we'll just leave a link. Don't have to do that. But whatever. And the crow's casks, that's another location. Where is it? Crow's casks. We'll delete that. Delete that. And we're going to drag it from there. Put it in there. Drag it into here. Drag it to there. Okay. Let's save the entry and see what it looks like. Boom. There it is. Ta da! All right, save the entry. Close it. Now, when I go to my, uh, let me close this folder. Power locations. All these, this is the journal entry area of the foundry. This is all the journals, like locations in Otari, deity information, domains, abomination vaults, stuff. But also, here's what I just made. Living conditions. This is a little journal that nobody can read but me. I open it, and there it is. That little table that I just made. And it tells me where the characters are staying, how much every month they're paying, and any notes about that. We know that Thozar is living quite comfortably at three gold pieces every month, which I charge at the beginning of every month for my players. Uh... A little note here so let me make a note it's a little asterisk so i don't want to be in the table how do i get out of the table it won't let me i don't want to be in the table i don't want to be in the table It's not going to work. All right, I'm going to put a note at the top here. It's going to say, pays a lesser fee for hmm, services on the side. That's where uh, those are going to be making little deliveries and stuff at a discount price. For the crow's casks. And for that little extra service, he gets a discount on his living expenses. So that's what that means. That's what that's all about. Why is this table like this? I don't want it looking like that. 
I want to put the note at the bottom, but I can't get out of this table. Ah, I'll have to move it around or fiddle with it later. But anyway, there it is. That's a little journal entry that only I can see. Just a little uh, reminder regarding living conditions. Something I'll keep track of. Hold on, players. And I've got more players, but uh, or more characters, but uh, I'm not going to add them just yet. Lofter's interesting because he works in town. He's one of the one of the guard. I have to think: Do I want him living in the garrison, which is right here, or more likely, do I have him living elsewhere on his own? In which case, he would do something like, "Oh, I want to live comfortably for four gold pieces a month. Maybe he pays less. Who knows?" Because he is a town guard. And maybe he's staying at the Rowdy Rock Fish Inn as well. Something to think about. Uh, there might be living quarters at the Atari Garrison as well. I'll have to ponder, ponder that. 